In this video, there will be some questions based on the motion of a charged particle in uniform magnetic field. You must have watched uh, the video in which I have explained the basics of motion of charged particle in a uniform magnetic field. So, there is a charged particle, positive charged particle, which is entering a magnetic field region. This is the magnetic field region above this horizontal line and uh, you have to find the time spent by the charged particle angle covered inside the field so the method is uh, this is the velocity with which it is entering and the direction so to find first of all you have to find the center of the circular motion to find the center of circular motion just draw a perpendicular on the velocity vector okay which is the direction of force by using cross product v cross p find the direction of force which is b which will be perpendicular to velocity of charge particle and at a distance r r is mv by qb at a distance r from this point the point of entering in the direction of force will be the center now you get the center as well as radius just draw a circle again in the direction of force at a distance r from the point of entering or the initial point there will be center and you get the radius as mv by qv now you have center as well as radius draw the circle so with the help of geometry we can say this angle is theta this will be 2 theta as this is 90 minus theta both angles are 90 minus theta and you can get the time by unitary method the total time for 2 pi is capital D so the time for 2 pi minus 2 theta as the angle covered inside the field is this will be T divided by 2 pi into 2 pi minus 2 theta in the next part we have find we have to find the change in momentum of the charge and average force of the charge for that change in momentum of the charge you have to find by which the velocity has the angle by which the velocity has turned the velocity has turned by an angle 2 theta so change in momentum will be 2 mv sin theta using vector and the average force is change in momentum per unit the time spent so and the next part if the charge entering in the above question this question is negative in this part what we have solved earlier the charge was positive what would have been the case if the charge is negative so if the charge is negative again this is the entering charge you have to draw force on the charge the force will be in this direction using v cross v v is this b is inward so v cross b will come in this direction but the charge is negative so the force will be on the opposite direction of v cross b minus v cross b as the charge is negative again this is an important point velocity is in this direction v cross b is in upward in this direction but the force will be in this direction because the charge is negative again to draw the path you have to find the center which is at a distance r in the direction of force now you have the center as well as radius just draw the arc inside the magnetic field region so radius will be this we can get this angle as 2 theta again with the help of simple geometry this angle is 90 and this will be 90 minus theta this again will be 90 minus theta we can solve everything after we get this angle change in momentum time spent angle covered etc etc this is one of the most fundamental question based on helical motion of a charge particle but a magnetic field is present along x-axis and a particle is thrown in xy plane at an angle theta with the x-axis as shown and uh, you have to find its path coordinates at any time t velocity is component at any time t so again 
as I explained earlier that we have to resolve velocity parallel to magnetic field and perpendicular to magnetic field. The component of velocity perpendicular to magnetic field is the velocity with which it moves in a circle and parallel will move it in the direction of magnetic field. The path will be helical and uh, circular motion can be observed in YZ plane. So radius will be mv by qb which is mu sin theta by qb. Uh, important thing to be noticed that the circle which will be in yz plane is like this. The particle will never be able to move out of the plane of paper or towards the positive z side. Again, to draw the circle, what we have initial velocity, which is along y direction, the component of velocity perpendicular to magnetic field is along y direction, and you have magnetic field along x x in this diagram is into the plane of paper so how we get x into the plane of paper and not out of the plane by using a uh, j cross k y cross z must give uh, i so y cross z is into the plane of paper which is the direction of x and magnetic field is parallel to x so magnetic field is into the plane of paper so by using v cross b we get the direction of force towards negative z axis and at a distance r from origin we get the center so after getting center and radius draw the circle the particle will never be able to move on the z side the particle will move in negative z side or in y z plane as shown in the diagram so angular velocity can be calculated using the type period let in time t the angle covered is alpha so alpha will be equal to omega t and this diagram if we'll look for the x coordinate x coordinate are simplest to calculate as the particle is moving with a velocity v parallel there is no acceleration in x direction there is no force in magnetic field of magnetic field uh, along its own direction so particle will move with a constant velocity along x which is v parallel so u cos theta t will be the coordinates after time t x coordinates whereas the velocity x component will remain same all the time now we'll look for y coordinates this is the same diagram just a bigger in size for more clarity so this is the p perpendicular this is the angle covered in time t this will be observed in yz plane so the y coordinate will be r sin alpha and the z coordinate will be this r1 minus cos alpha as this distance t the cursor is r cos alpha and this complete is r the remaining distance is r1 minus cos alpha. Negative sign indicate that the particle will be on the negative z axis always. So we get x, y, and z coordinates. Now the velocities x component we have already calculated, y component will be this v perpendicular sin alpha. So v perpendicular, sorry, cos alpha because the alpha is the angle made with y axis using a uh, simple basic mathematics geometry and vz will be minus v perpendicular sin alpha uh, this angle will be alpha should be noticed this angle is alpha so this angle angle between horizontal and radius vector will also be alpha this is 90 minus alpha this again will be alpha so we have vz as v perpendicular sin alpha negative sign indicate direction of velocity in negative z ah it depends on t and alpha so it may be towards positive z also so we get 
important things to be noticed is particle will never come out the plane of paper means negative z axis or it will move along only on the negative side of the z-axis it will never move on the positive side of the z-axis the particle will touch the x-axis regularly at integral multiple of the pitch so if we have to collide something with the particle we must place that thing at an integral multiple of the pitch on the x-axis these are the important observation on which the questions are based. Thank you.